I spent the last 365 days trying e-commerce with Shopify. But before I show some results, let's first go back in time to 17 year old Yad. I didn't want to say this, but owning a clothing brand is not easy at all. Stock. I literally only had like three jackets left. Y'all see, like, y'all see what's going on, bro. It's, it's my best drop ever, you know. I'm grateful for it. I appreciate y'all for talking. On May 3rd, 2022, I began my journey in e-commerce. And specifically, I started a clothing line. I started brainstorming for the perfect brand name and logo. I wanted something catchy that would stick in people's heads. After tossing around ideas with a friend in a random Discord call, I finally came up with the name I wanted to pick. And the name was Watch Your Step. The name carried a meaningful message behind it, reminding us to stay humble and never overstep in life. It was also unique and I felt like it could make an impact in the market. The next thing I did was focus on creating a good design. And with the help of a collaborator, I felt like we had the one. Like this design could shake up the market. And with that, I present to you the OGT. However, the next step was pretty challenging. And I know a lot of people struggle with this too. And that was finding a reliable supplier. And after some days of just searching and hitting people up, I finally found someone that was willing to do the work. Now this supplier was local and in my city. They told me it was take around two weeks to get the stuff printed so i went ahead and started creating my social medias and working on the website while i was waiting and honestly this was no easy step at all especially when it came to designing a website using shopify like i spent hours and hours just watching youtube videos on how to do the, even the basic stuff with shopify that's how confusing it was for me but i was determined to figure it out so after hours and upon hours of learning i finally figured out how to create a website and let's just say this was not the best website ever looking back at it it did take a lot of hard work to learn how to make a website but i'm so grateful that I did because it is a valuable skill that I still use to this day. So I am happy I didn't pay someone to just make it for me. Plus, I didn't have money at the time I was broke. Now, two weeks go by later and the shirts are ready. And I was excited to go pick these shirts up. I really wanted to see my designs come to life. Upon receiving the box, I went ahead and opened it up, excited as ever to see the product. And I was met with a lot of disappointment. You see, half of my shirts had a red dye stain on it. And I was devastated. This was my first ever drop and I was going to lose money on it. I immediately went back to the shop to ask them to refund me or to to remake it and they came up with a million excuses why they couldn't now i ended up losing over 150 dollars on this drop and to some of y'all it might not seem like a lot of money but to me i was 17 years old i had a nine to five and i wasn't making that much money i decided to hit the lab again and start working on my second project and i made one crucial mistake that i learned from now on not to do i made a jacket in the peak of the summer where it was 95 degrees outside and i was over here making jackets but anyways i opted for an overseas suppliers this time because i had a horrible experience with my local one I found someone on Instagram and it was a pretty sketchy experience. It took almost a month for the product to arrive, but I wasn't phased because as long as it arrived, I was happy. I had finally launched my second product on July 19th, 2022 with incredibly high hopes that it was going to get some sales, but I was met with a lot of disappointment as it flopped miserably. By this time, college had begun and I started to hate my life. You see, I was never really the type to enjoy school and I always hated it growing up, but this, this was a different type of hatred. I felt miserable every single day and and honestly, I was starting to feel unhappy and was like, is this entrepreneur stuff even for me? But I knew that I could not go to college and I needed to drop out at some point. So I kept fighting and learning and pushing forward, determined to change my life. Returning to the design lab for the third time, I was more determined and hungrier than ever. This was a different type of hunger that just drove me for success. I was determined to create a product that would stand out in the market. So my approach for this third project was different. I made sure I studied what products were working, what trends were going on, and how could I implement it into my own product. And this took days, weeks of just constant research. I was making numerous designs, numerous revisions until I felt like I had finally found the one. Now, I also took a new approach with my marketing tactics. Before, I was just posting on Instagram saying, hey, go ahead and purchase my new stuff with no reach for real. And I discovered TikTok organic. Now, a lot of people weren't really making TikToks at the time for their brands. They were just doing dances and other trends. But I figured, why not just make TikToks about my brand? Let's see what it can do. And it was challenging trying to be creative with videos because there's only so much I could do with just a product it's not my personality but after multiple videos one of them had went viral and started gaining some traction hundreds of thousands of views were rolling in on my product that led me to the next step this next step would decide if my brand would fall off or i could capitalize off it and that is learning how to capitalize off the traffic i revamped my website to be even better than the last i wanted to make sure the customer could get to the checkout with the least amount of clicks as possible because the less clicks a customer has to get to the checkout the 
the more likely it is to convert to a sale. The next thing I did was give them a sweet offer they couldn't resist. And for this, I offered free shipping on all US orders. Now, a lot of people, when they see free shipping, they're automatically tempted to buying, thinking this is a limited time offer. And I created that sense of like urgency that if you don't get this now, you're not gonna have free shipping in the future. Now, the last thing I did was make sure I had a good customer support system in place. And honestly, it was just me running the customer support, but I made sure I had a customer support email that they could email me because customer support is one of the most important things in e-commerce. Now I was ready to go. I felt like everything was ready for the drop. I launched my product October 21st, 2022, and I was met with an insane amount of support and love from everybody. Thousands of dollars were just rolling in in the first five minutes. And this was one of the best feelings I ever experienced because I had never seen so much money going towards me. I felt accomplished like I finally did it. I finally succeeded. And at this point, I made a huge decision that would change my life forever. In November, I dropped out of college and quit my nine to five. Everyone looked at me like I was crazy and I was making a huge mistake, but I knew deep down this was the right move. The next few months were going amazing. I was selling out my restocks constantly and money was just rolling in. And I felt like I was on top of the world. But fast forward to February, something happened that nearly killed my business. I was working with a supplier at the time that I had no issues with at all, but all of a sudden they stopped responding to my messages. I kept sending them multiple messages every single day asking, hey, where is my inventory? Where is my products? And I was left with no response. And I couldn't afford to delay it anymore. I had hundreds of people waiting for their products. So after about a week of texting him nonstop, I had no choice but to find a new supplier. And with time not being on my side, with this new supplier, I couldn't order a sample and test out the quality. I just had to go all in. I found a random Instagram manufacturer that would give me a a good price on the product and just ordered a bulk right away and at this point i just prayed for the best this was probably the scariest moment of my life opening up that box but to my surprise the product was actually good and it looked really close to the original like people wouldn't be able to tell a difference a sigh of relief just hit me once i realized everything was going to be okay quick thinking and just taking that risk saved my business everyone got what they ordered on time and it was just an overall good experience for them but they didn't know what went on behind the scenes to get them that product and of course a lot more hardships came along the way throughout my journey but if i went over every hardship this video would be hours long i continued studying topics like conversion rates and ads determined to become the best in the e-commerce space. By the time my fourth or fifth product released, we had surpassed over a hundred thousand dollars in sales within my first few months of business. And I kept on scaling and reinvesting my profits back into the business to keep it alive and running for a long time. I even got my own mini warehouse and my own customer support team that I had hired. And I started hiring people to control the marketing for me. So I was slowly exiting the business, but still overseeing it. And this takes people years to get to this point, but I'm happy I got to it in a pretty fast amount of time. If I could do it all over again, I 100% would because the skills that I learned are priceless. I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning and lost out on a ton of money that was unnecessary. And that's why me and my team started a Discord server to help you guys not make these mistakes I made. You have all the resources you need to start and scale your own brand or e-commerce business and pros to coach you and help mentor you. I'm pretty active in there and answer most of the questions. And if you're interested, make sure to check it out in the link in the description. Anyways, I love you all and I wish you the best on your journeys and I'll see you in the next one.